first game in NIT after being very close to making the NCAA tournament feels like a tough thing to at least start off on. Was it tough for you guys tonight to kind of get the mentality to play, you know, immediately against in the first round of the NIT? Uh, I don't think it was a, a tough start for us. Uh, I mean, what happened on uh, Sunday was just Sunday, so we put that in the past. But today we just wanted to come out, protect home court, and make sure we defend home court the right way. How do you put it in the past? I mean, all you guys are competitive. You all want to play at the highest level. How do you process that and move on to the next step? Um, well, that's life. Life always, Life's not always going to go right. So, I mean, it, it tests your character and everything. Sunday, sure, did test a lot of our character. But um, I think we handled it the right way, responded the right way. You know, just put it in the past and just move forward. That's all you can do. Let it marinate a little bit. You know, yeah. And move on. Get ready for the next one. Frank, uh, you were very excited after that uh, Emmanuel uh, tip in. Um, just how how big was that play in your mind? I mean, uh, it's really huge for us for the game because we were uh, struggling like at the end. So I feel like that play kind of like you know boost everyone's momentum to you know to win the game. Yeah, that play changed the game. Just Frank's activity overall mm -hmm. just changed the game for. Is that kind of play crucial going forward as well? Because Emmanuel struggled with his shot tonight, but to have a play like that that helps you guys seal the win, is that the kind of play that can really give him a boost in the next round? For sure. We know that uh, not a lot of our shots are not going to fall sometimes, so it's about how you can impact the game on a, on a, on a high winning level. And E-Man did that when he crashed the glass, and Frank also with his activity tonight. It really just boosted our team to another level. Yeah, those those plays I think um, are the ones that are going to really help our team just because, you know, in tournament games, you know, it's kind of hard to really find your offensive rhythm with, you know, the physicality and how the refs call the game and stuff like that. So, you know, those momentum plays are big for us. Yeah. What, what was the key to limiting Ty Gordon to six points tonight? Um, I think it was just us being solid, you know. We know that uh, he's a, one of the top ten scorers in the country, so – for Eman to do what he did and our team to do what they did was a big step up for us. It just let us know that on any given night we can shut anybody down. Do you just assume Bandamel's going to do that to everybody's top scorer? Seems like your coach has talked about that all year with him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a standard for Eman for sure. We think you know every time we have a tough opponent or a tough matchup one on one that he's the guy to like him or Mike, but you know Eman specifically, he's the guy to lock it down for sure. Is there a sense of you, you had a couple scoring droughts from the, the floor. Is there a sense of pushing too much? Do you kind of have to stay within yourselves when you just see the ball not going in for anybody for a long stretch of time? How do you kind of manage that? I think for us it would just come down to executing our plays. Um, that's, that's one thing that's going to propel you to a lot of wins is just execution and you know, a lot of, like you said, a lot of shots aren't going to fall and stuff like that, especially during tournament time. Um, you just have to hone in on those things and execute your plays to get wide open looks and get good looks. Obviously, this whole season for, you know, from the very beginning was about getting to the NCAA tournament. Obviously, you guys were very close. But once that goal is in the past, I guess what motivates you or what do you really put your kind of stock into and mindset for the rest of the way? Obviously, it's a tournament. Mm -hmm. Well, we want to get to Madison Square Garden. Mm -hmm. I've never been to Times Square, so, you know. It's a championship. We're trying to go out here and win a championship. So, yeah. you know, we're going to take it day day by day, game at a time, and, you know, go as hard as we can. Even though one of our goals was cut short going to the tournament, you know, we still have a big opportunity ahead of us. So we're just going to make the advan or take advantage of that opportunity. Did you guys talk about that? Um, For sure, but we didn't let it loom. Um, I mean, if it let, if it looms around, it's, it's just going to eventually catch up to you. But, mm -hmm. you know, we got a lot of – in the past mentalities, just next play, next next situation up. So that's just all it was. Marcus, you looked like you got banged up a little in the first half, and then you had someone land on you in the last minute, and you got up pretty slowly. How are you feeling physically? He's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, coming from coming from Mike, I'm all right. You know, just you know, some treatment and stuff like that. But that's normally how it goes. Just a baby bone. That's yeah, that's, that's normally how it goes in the game for me, so, you know, just brush it off. I'll be all right. Was uh, getting more Moody Magic and Consolation Prize? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Coming out here and playing for these fans is great, for sure.